I'm eating. Mm. What they need? Potatoes, butter, a little milk. And I ran out of salt, so I used baking soda. Why wouldn't you? They're both white powders. Of course they're interchangeable. Yeah, how about we finish building this tower? The structure's done, but we've barely started on the landscaping. I want to build a spaceship. <laughs> I worked so hard on that. You know how I finally stopped eating? You got too big to fit through the kitchen door? I learned how to beat my cravings. Every time I wanted food, I rebooted my system. Are you ready to reboot? When I feel a food craving, I would dunk my head into ice water and reset my brain. Watch me. <laughs> Whoa! I'm all good. <laughs> yeah, you try. Okay. Now! <laughs> Do it again! <laughs> it's so cold, it's really cold. Last time. <laughs> yes. yes, lunchtime, wait's over. That was easy. Totally, I feel like we just had our snack an hour and 17 minutes ago. I never got into diets, though I did take diet pills in the 70s. I love these pills. They give me so much energy, and I can eat whatever I want. Oh, God. He's dead! Actually, I was in a coma. When I woke up, I had so much mail. Weight loss science has come a long way since then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ingredients, carrot. Gotta respect that. Sorry, Sarge. Maybe if you did more cardio and less weights, you'd move faster. No, 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 Amy. We need to be the change we want to see in the elevator. Uh-uh. Door open. Door no, open. Door closed. Door open. Door open. Door open. Door open. No. What is going on with you two? What's going on with you? Love. That's it. Time for an emergency stop and talk. OK, fine. You want to know what's going on? We read your book. And you should know, I'm not a pushover. And I'm not a stone cold bitch. I'm a natural, beautiful presence. OK. I'm sorry these characters look like you. But that's where the resemblance stops. Sure, Junebug is a meanie to the platy pups but she's a sweetheart to the soccerless. And Cricket is a pushover when it comes to Magic Moose wishes, but she's very brave in the Dolphin Wars. These stories are nonsense. I love you guys, but if you bring in something more to my book, that's on you. So this is where all the tape went. I gotta put up these pictures my daughters drew. And I need some, because I cut my hand. Hey, Scott! Go to the hospital! And give a hundred bucks to some doctor to give me the exact same tape? I don't think so. Wow! And what's all this? I'm making a Christmas present for Captain Holt. I know, I know, he has a strict no-gift policy, but I found a loophole. Like your loophole last year? So, I was just gonna throw out this brand new squash racket, but then I thought, hey, maybe the captain could use it. I don't want your garbage. No, it was a very expensive gift. Aha, suspicions confirmed. I asked the captain what qualified as a gift, and he said anything I spent money on. Then I realized my time is worth nothing. Sounds like you're bragging, but that's just a sad statement. I'm making a scrapbook of his professional highlights. Newspaper clippings, police reports, pictures. It's got every moment of his career from Ray to Z. This is a very bad idea. I know. I'm not happy with the title either, but my backup was keep holding on. But that just makes him sound like he's sick. Even my fiery dance moves aren't keeping me warm. The trick is, you gotta be prepared. Mini cognac, lady. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, warm me up, you little bastard. Mm. More drinks. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you, Terry's Fanny. I wouldn't know what milestones are impressive to a school admissions officer. They can count to 20 in English and Mandarin. Oh. Hi, Detective Santiago, Magnet School alumna. I appreciate that you use the proper declension of alumnus. Well, some say Latin is a dead language, but I say it's just taking a long nap. <laughs> <laughs> you reassigned our drug case? Diaz and I have been working it for three months. Remember, Super Dan, the guy you ignored and made fun of? He's been perching on rooftops at night, secretly taking photos of drug deals. He has thousands of images and can ID the entire network of dealers. What? But you refused to take his statement because he had a cape on. Luckily, Hitchcock and Scully didn't mind. I didn't even notice he was wearing a cape. You're a cop. You should have noticed that. We screwed up. 
Message received. Yep, be nicer to virgins. She doesn't speak for me. You're not getting your case back. <sighs> it's not the turnout I was hoping for. Maybe I should have offered free strudel. Then at least Scully would have come. There's free strudel? Where the hell did you come from? I don't get it. I am shocked that more people wouldn't want the tutelage of our precincts, nay, our city's most esteemed sergeant. What do you want, Santiago? To learn the majestic art of self-defense from our cities, nay, our country. Come on, man, out with it. I want to start class. OK, I'm applying for a mentorship program for up-and-coming detectives. It's called Star Achieving Mentors, Star Achieving Mentees, or Sam Sam for short. Would you write me a recommendation? Of course I will. You'd be great. Thank you, Sarge. All right, everyone, pay attention. Santiago, I'm going to come at you, and you're going to take me down. You better impress me if you want that recommendation to be good. I'm going to try, Sarge. All right, here we go. <laughs> oh, oh, my nose! No, no, no. My oh, no. nose! Oh, no, no, no. You no. broke my nose! Oh, there's so much blood. I'm so <laughs> sorry. Give me a towel! OK, all right. I can't believe they all let CJ and Gina just buy them off. But we don't need them, because we've got you, and you're a sergeant. Did you sign a letter yet? Um, I. What did he give you? He gave me the ability to continue to serve this community unencumbered by unnecessary oversight. Now, I really have to... What did he give you? He gave me a yogurt fridge, all right? I asked for a yogurt fridge and I got one right next to my desk. I'm only a man. I'm sending this letter with or without your signature. Enjoy your blood yogurt. I will. It's all dudes down there and I'm not above using a little flirtation to get what I want. Was that a wink? You tell me. I honestly don't know, but you're all we got. Uh, you went to see me, Serge? Yeah, I know we're all sort of cramped together in here, but we were kind of thinking that your uniformed officers are causing some problems. Oh, like what? How do I put this tactfully? Your squad turned the kitchen into a cesspool, nastied up the bathroom, and made the elevator smell like a 100 butts. OK. Thank you for your tact, Diaz. Well, that's unfair. Your squad is responsible for at least 50 of those butts. Look, all I'm saying is maybe you can ask the downstairs people to be more Excuse me? Downstairs people? <laughs> that's a little offensive. Oh, don't get it twisted. It's just where you came from. Some of my best friends are downstairs people. OK, I think you know exactly what that sounds like, you upstairs people. Oh, thank you for that nice compliment. It wasn't a compliment, and you know it. I said it with two. Classic downstairs person. Wow, you are prejudiced against the first floor. I'm taking this up the chain. No one listens to me. I'm a lousy sergeant. What? No, don't say that. Why would you say that? If I tell you something, you promise not to tell anyone else? Of course. You know how I took the lieutenant's exam last week? Uh -huh. I just found out I didn't pass. Oh, no. Oh, but you shouldn't feel bad. Only like 10% of people pass on the first try. I know, and I'm all exhausted because of the night shift. Plus, my bathroom break during the test took a little longer than anticipated. May I use the restroom, please? Uh-oh, uh nothing to see here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Little desk. That's why they say it's test time, so diaper up. They say that. I've never said that. I've never worn a diaper during a test. Who would wear a diaper during a test? It's ridiculous. Santiago. I'm sorry. Look. Don't give up on the green initiative. You're a great sergeant. You'll get everyone on board. Not Gina. Yes, Gina. You can handle her. You can do this. Sarge, it's test time. Diaper up. <laughs> you still think forensic entomology is all <laughs> blow flies and screw worms, don't you? A good one, Santiago. You should take the lieutenant's exam. Hey. Hey, squad. Lunch is on me today. Taking everyone out for pizza. <laughs> and that's how you improve morale. OK. You're not the only sergeant around here. Now, let me help. This side of the room, lunch is on me. And we're getting something better than pizza. Sushi. <laughs> Are you trying to outdo me? No, no. Just trying to raise morale. Cool, 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 cool. Morale, morale, morale. Hey, Sergeant. How are you? Well, my baby cries at the side of my face now, so that's great. I mean, she's a baby. She could be crying at anything. <laughs> nope. She pointed right at my nose and then threw up. What do you want, Santiago? I was just wondering if you finished writing that recommendation letter. It's due pretty soon. Well, I'm working on it. It's taking a little while because it's hard to concentrate. What, with all the agony? OK. Well, thank you for still doing it. 
If it helps, I brought you some soothing ginger tea. Will it repair the place where my nose came off my skull? I don't know, but it's supposed to have healing vapors, so try inhaling it. Oh, thank you. Oh, it burns! Oh. The vapors burn! Oh, sorry, I'll take it down! Ah! Oh, sorry, ah! I'll get some cold water! No, no, don't! I am petrified of you! What the hell is this? The downstairs people keep making a mess of the microwave. One of them thought it was cool to heat up soup in an uncovered dish. That's just crazy. How do you know that's our splatter? There are some sloppy Susans upstairs. I saw it go down. It was one of you, so you banned. No way. This microwave belongs to the entire precinct, so I'm not banned. Actually, turns out this microwave is not precinct property. Detective O'Shea brought it from home back in 98, so... You banned. I went to visit O'Shea's widow. He's dead? Big time. She is not over it. Anyway, I got her to sign a contract that states the upstairs has exclusive microwave rights. You bothered a widow with this? Honestly, it wasn't that awkward for me. Rosa did it. It was rough, but she signed it, so you banned. Santiago, uh -huh. what's going on here? Is everything OK? Yeah, totes. Right, Rosa? Uh, totes. Why is everyone being all weird today? Just get back to work and be normal. Yes, sir, we will do, we will be normal. Nothing to stress about here. <laughs> so, Lieutenant, sorry to take up your time. I just wanted to go over the CompStat numbers with you real quick. Um, what the? Is something wrong? Are the CompStat numbers bad? The numbers are fine, and I have to go. Oh, OK. Then why'd you ask for this meeting? Don't follow me, Terry. What? I wasn't going to. This was a very confusing interaction. OK. Look, let's try a new approach. We weigh these three islanders against these three islanders. If they weigh the same, we eliminate them. And if they don't, we... Where'd they go? Very bossy full of donuts. You said we could eliminate them? Only if they weigh the same. We've been here forever. I'm getting snacky. Fine. Let's start over. OK. We balance three against three. And if they weigh the same, we just... What just happened? Come on, man, stop eating the islanders. I'm saving them from this weight-obsessed nightmare island. By murdering them? I warned you against using donuts. They're my trigger food. Mm. Terry. These islanders are delicious. Terry, you're on hair and makeup. I've seen your little girl's pigtails, so I know you can do it. They actually prefer my hair work to their mommies. <laughs> I love their little heads. <laughs> Terry, what's going on, man? Well, it's just a matter of time before I'm doing their hair at their weddings. I mean, it goes so fast. They're still babies. Pull it together, Jeffords. Oh, the pizza was that good? Pizza, right. That's what I said we were getting before we decided to a snazz it up. Oh, you guys snazzed? Yeah, we snazzed all the way to Le Petit Crippery. I thought we couldn't say snazz. Oh, no. I was thinking We can't say Carry on. Tell them how good it was, Rosa. Tell them how high our morale is. Hi. Oh, stop gushing, girl. I think it's so interesting you guys didn't stick to your original plan. Because neither did we. What? Why? Well, you don't think we knew you were going to snazz? <laughs> we saw your snazz coming a mile away. That's why I took my team out for some big, juicy steaks and mashed potatoes and some spinach and some key lime pie. Thank you, Heather. Well, that doesn't sound better than crepes. It is. Terry wins. We know. We were at both lunches. How? They were simultaneous and two miles apart. It was free food. Life finds a way. OK, but you can't win because it wasn't a competition. So let's make it a competition. Same groups tomorrow? OK. But let's agree at the end of this that we'll still be friends. No deal. Good, because I didn't mean it anyway. You wrote me a bad recommendation. How could you? Excuse me? It's the only explanation. You're mad that I broke your face and I burned your whole body. Well, grow up. Grow up? I have a Roth IRA. I eat wheat toast. You grow up. Here's the letter that I sent. Amy Santiago is one of the finest detectives in my precinct. Nay, the entire NYPD. Yeah, I even used the word nay. The idea that you would question my integrity is so... Uh-oh, I gotta sneeze. <laughs> this is gonna hurt. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Santiago, nice work at Checkpoint One. Wait, why are you guys being all weird again? We're not being weird. Do not dab. I wasn't going to. I know what's going on here. You do? Yeah. 
You're talking about me. I know, because my daughters are doing the same thing. Every time I go in that room, they get all weird and quiet. That's because they're making fun of daddy. Is that what you're doing? Making fun of daddy? First off. Yeah, I heard it. I'm sorry. Great. Secondly, we're not talking about you. And what are you talking about, then? Our favorite porns. What? It's true. We have specific favorite porns. And we're talking about them. Yeah. OK, legally, I feel as though I need to back away. But I want it to be known that I still do not believe you. Get back to work. Oh, I went well. All right. OK, lunchtime starts in 10 minutes. Whichever team wins gets recorded on the whiteboard of victory. The winner will be decided by our judges, Hitchcock and Scully. Oh, my god. Are we high status, Hitchcock? I think so. What a world. Oh, well, good luck. I'm sure you know all the best places to eat since you've reached elite status on Yelp. Oh, wait. That was me. Oh, because Yelp reviewers are sane people with great taste? Oh, sorry, couldn't hear you over Gourmet Glen 12 saying that my review of the duck skin at the Hearth and Feather was helpful. Come on, Team Jeffers. It's chow time. <laughs> we have a cool thing to say, too. Team Santiago, let's lunch a bunch. No, I don't say that. Come on, Rosa, please. Just lunch a bunch. Ah, oh, Rosa said it. Did you hear that? Did you hear it? Gary is killing my productivity. Terry, how did you used to deal with having an Amy? I didn't have to do anything. You've always been great. Cut the crap, Terry. I'm drowning. Fine. When you got too difficult to deal with, I'd pull rank. Did that work? No. Not even once. Oh, my god. I'm so sorry. Are you OK? Your leg shake is rattling the windows out there. I'm stressed. It's Captain Holt. You won't believe what he said to me. Hello, Santiago. How's your lunch? Pretty bad, right? That he politely asked you about your lunch? It was small talk. Captain Holt always says that true friends sit in silence. Small talk is for strangers, strangers and, and con men. men. So I'm a stranger now. This is my big fear about having a child. Losing my spark with my boss. Amy, he's your captain. You act like it's some romantic relationship. You know what, Terry? You're right. It is like a romantic relationship. That's what you got from what I said? Do you still have that relationship book from when you and Sharon are having issues? That book was about sex. And it's actually Scully's. But I bet Scully also ordered some relationship books when Scully got himself that sex book for Scully. Just own the sex book thing. Put my help or not. Fine. Well, well, Why is the tent so quiet? Is everybody talking about me now? Nobody is talking about you. Sure. Terry walks into a tent, and everybody just happens to stop talking at the same damn time? You are gaslighting me just like my daughter. Terry, I think you're being paranoid. I'm not paranoid. I put a recording device in my girl's room. You planted a bug in your daughter's room? I do what I have to do. They said I look like a giant triangle. Is that an insult? I don't know, but they were laughing like it was, and it hurt just the same. Don't have kids! OK, this is how we'll get O'Sullivan's print, fast drying dental resin. O'Sullivan touches this, leaves an imprint, and we have a mold, which we use to make a fake finger that will fool 99% of biometric scanners. Pretty sweet, right? I got to say, I thought Holt retiring would fresh your mood, but it hasn't. <laughs> Wait, Holt's retiring? You knew that. He said he would tell you when you handed in your report proposal, and you handed it in, and he told you. No, he didn't. OK, well, then I just told you. But you're still taking it well. Amy? Amy! O'Sullivan just texted. He'll be here in three. You got to hide! Um, I'm just going to pick you up and carry you like furniture, OK? Jaffrance and Santiago, your job is to keep crime down. Figure out how we police this precinct with no police. Prong two, baby. <laughs> the best prong. I mean, we're all in it together. It's not like this is a competition between prongs. Says the prong who breaks the most. I just wanted to say that I talked to my squad, and we're sorry we've been so disrespectful of your space. Really? What's going on here? Nothing. We just want to make things right. You upstairs people are really great, and there's a lot we could learn from you. Well, that is true. We are pretty great. You downstairs people are gonna figure it out. You're all right. Thanks, Terry. Truce. Truce. Now! What the hell? You thought the microwave was a mess before? Well, we just threw a whole fish in there. What happened to the truce? The truce was crap. You bet it was. Viva the downstairs people! Ah! OK, here's your resin. Do your magic. You're not going to scold me for almost ruining the mission? No, Amy, I get it. But look, you don't need Holt to succeed. You are the most capable person I know. Thanks, Terry. Now let's get this mold to Jake and Holt. <laughs> what are you doing? I thought you could carry me again. It was very comforting. OK. Thank you, Terry. I love you. Also, 
Arrests are down. Santiago, Jeffords, what on earth happened yesterday? The new detectives won't do anything I ask, and I've had to work so low. Sorry, I was feeling a little sick, but I am much better now. You look like garbage. Now, I know you're trying to tough this out, but I've always believed that true toughness means acknowledging your own limitations. It's OK, Terry. Go home. Thank you, sir. I'll be back in a jiffy. I can't believe he bought that dribble. True toughness means working through pain. Everyone knows that. I know, it's hilarious. What are you laughing at? Is that a video of me? Oh, no, is it that time Terry fell off a lime scooter? Why would any of us have that footage? Don't skirt the question. I want to know what I'm falling off of in that video. Stop it, Terry, OK? We haven't been talking about you. <gasps> oh, kicking. I think kicking's working. Told you, go with it. Keep kicking that can. <gasps> Wait, this was about you having a pee? Yes! Wow. I guess I owe you guys an apology. I may have been bringing some things from home into the workplace. Yeah, that was clear from the start, OK? Hey, so don't freak out, but apparently there are several other groups presenting reform proposals to one police plaza, and only one will get funding. Why would that make me freak out? Because you can be a little competitive. <laughs> That's not true. No one is less competitive than me. <laughs> no one. Anyway, uh, here's who you're up against. Alan Peters, dud. Mike Lynch, dud. Tad Green, dud. <gasps> Austin Grant. Who's Austin Grant? Not a dud? Oh, he's a dud. But he's a hot dud. He's a hud. He gets everything handed to him because he looks so good in uniform. Ugh, and he's pitching predictive algorithmic policing. That's just high-tech racial profiling. OK, look, if this guy is style over substance, we just need to give you some style. Check this out. Tiny Terry won the little Mr. Michigan pageant. You just happen to have a video of yourself as a seven-year-old on your phone? Big Terry's proud of Tiny Terry. But the point is, I can help you. <gasps> oh, crap, there's Austin. Oh, damn, he is a hood. OK, OK, let's just be cool. Yeah. Here, hold my glasses. Yeah. Hey, Austin, long time ago. Mm, see. Santiago, are you OK? <laughs> yeah, great. You look good. Thanks, I know. And you have a very... Brave hairstyle? Thank you. Sergeant Santiago, we're ready for you. I look insane. What am I going to do? OK, style over substance is clearly out. But if anyone can substance the crap out of this, it's Amy Santiago. You're right. I can do this. Substance over style. Oh! Mm. Come on, Amy. 